Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lorance product expert. And today, I'm gonna show you all how to share different sonar sources between different units, be the HDS Live and an HDS Live, an HDS Live and an HDS Carbon, Elite FS. So it's all pretty much the same between all of these units. So now we're gonna look at how to select those sources. So as you can see right here, I've got a chart and a sonar screen. Now, if I just wanted to look at a different sonar on the boat, so if I wanted to look at the HDI transducer that's on the front on my ghost trolling motor, right here you can see this says it's my left console. All right, so from here, if I wanna look at the HDI transducer on my ghost trolling motor at the front of the boat, all I have to do is come to this screen. I'm gonna to touch this screen to make sure my orange box is around it. I'm gonna hit menu. And here it says source, it says left console. Up at the top, it says left console. That's this unit, that's what I've named it. So if I go to the source, and I go to HDS Live 12, channel one. So I selected that one. I haven't named it up front. Normally I have them named, but I haven't for whatever reason done it on this one. But that's my front trolling motor. So I'm looking at the HDI up there. So, so here's something really cool if I wanted to look at my front transducer and my back transducer at the same time. If I come here to the home screen, go to sonar, and if I touch and hold it, we call this a quick split. Now you, you can see it says sonar plus sonar. So if I hit that, all right, look at that. So my left console, which is my back transducer, and then the Live 12 channel one, which is my HDI transducer on the Ghost. So now I'm looking at the front of the boat and the back of the boat at the same time. And you can actually really tell because the front of the boat, you can see we're a little bit uh, deeper up front than we are in the back. The back's sitting in around five foot. The front is in about six and a half foot. So that's something really cool. This is good if you're like working an edge and trying to find drop offs and things like that. So uh, this is just one of the things you can do to look at different transducers on the boat. If I've got multiple transducers plugged into multiple units, I could look at each one of those transducers individually. So that's just one of the great features that we give you on the HDS Live unit. 